This is the Arctic. It's an ecosystem in the far northern region of the globe. Few animals call this land home. The ones who do live here are strong, slow, tough, and sometimes hard to see. Polar bears are believed to have descended from the common brown bear about 400,000 years ago. As brown bears moved farther and farther north, they have evolved to fit their new environments. Over time, they have become perfectly adapted to the icy arctic tundra, using sea ice in traveling, hunting, denning, and reproducing. Even their white fur is an adaptation in the snowy treeless landscape. Although they are the apex predators of the frozen north, polar bears are still vulnerable to threats like pollution and habitat loss. But the biggest threat to polar bears and other animals in their ecosystem is melting sea ice because of climate change. If, if too much sea ice melted, female polar bears couldn't get enough food to build the layer of fat they need before giving birth to cubs in their dens. Without enough food, polar bears would be weaker than they should be, and females would have fewer cubs. Some of the cubs wouldn't be healthy enough to survive. The lack of available food would also cause hungry polar bears to travel outside their natural habitat, forcing them to compete with other predators. These difficulties would cause the polar bear population to decline, and before long it could dwindle to none. If too much of the sea ice melted, the Arctic North would grow even warmer and the landscape would change permanently. Ships that were once hidden under the snow would be exposed and grow larger, crowding out the tundra's usual mosses, fungi, and grasses. Many of these plant species that are not used to growing in this changing landscape would disappear, causing herbivores like caribou to struggle to find enough food. Without enough snow, subnivian mammals like lemmings who make for dens in the snow would lose their homes, exposing them to the harsh weather and predators and decreasing their populations. This cycle could continue until the ice has thawed. Then, neighboring ecosystems would change and their animals could disappear. This chain of events would roll onward, affecting all the different ecosystems, from the redwood forest to the hot deserts and the frozen Arctic, until we are, we are no, no longer, longer able, able to stop, stop it. Effects like these would begin in the Arctic and spread like a web into different environments. Snow stays cold because its white color reflects the heat of the sun, sending it back into space. Because bodies of water like the ocean are darker than snow and ice, they absorb the heat of the sun. Then in cycle, the warm water causes the sea ice to melt. Fortunately, we still have time to save polar bears and slow the loss of Arctic ice. Scientists and researchers are working hard to find solutions and educate the public about how ecosystems and organisms are connected to one another. The best way for you to help is to learn everything you can about climate change and how it affects environments like the Arctic. Taking action will lessen its devastating effects. Maybe we will find that the answer to saving polar bears has been right in front of us all along.